for those fake funny friends that you grew up with back in the day that played in your face before you knew the secret sauce to get you where you need to go, they're going to regret what they did to you, okay? They're going to regret seeing that you're still around when they fail. See, you might have failed early. That means you learn late. They're going to fall late. That means they didn't learn at all. Because if you knew what you knew, you wouldn't have been going through what you was going through. See? Don't worry about that. Karma don't miss. That's why I love her. Anywho, this uh, reading is going to be from Goddesses, Guides in the Oracle deck with the Guardians and stuff, y'all. This is Chosen Monet. Hope y'all having a good day. I got to get ready to make my store list uh, for this afternoon or whatever. And um, my boyfriend to be here soon. I got to get my daughter from school. Oh, wow. My laptop's dead. And I've been trying to get some videos up because my mom was here the last few days since Thursday. Today is Wednesday. She left yesterday. So I was kind of walking on eggshells and not really having a long time to get some of these readings out for my collective. So, y'all, I'm going to get y'all another reading real quick. And before I go shower and make my uh, store list, because there's a few things I have to get, like some trash bags, some tissues, toothbrushes, um, and what else do I need to get? Maybe dinner for the night. I want to get me and my nephew this ice cream because he loves ice cream. Um, and I do too. I like vanilla ice cream. Everybody like ice cream, really. I do not know how this device just turned back on by itself. I don't know what's going on over there. Um, all right. Mm -mm. Turned on with 15%. All I did was push the button, but that don't normally turn on like that. That device, you have to like press the button, not just press something. So I thought it was dead. And see, that, that goes right with my reading, y'all, too. You see how I said that? People are going to think that you did, but then as soon as they touch you, you get the move and they get scared. See, they thought that they killed you out back in the day when they played in your face. They thought you was some reject. They thought you were some weak link, but they really never got a chance to know you, so they never knew who you were. They judged you for your mis imperfections before they learned your strengths. See, they didn't understand that you was a nervous person, being that you grew up in an environment where you weren't allowed to express yourself. So once you remove yourself from around toxic people, places, and things, you're able to be more vibrant. You're able to be more wise. You're able to make a little bit better decisions. Now, a lot of our chosen, chosen ones, we do end up getting our foot to get our feet on the right floor the right area the right level around the wrong time like maybe a little bit later in life like i said it might take some time sometimes you know early on who you are but like i said if you grew up around abusive people or in a family dynamic where you're not allowed to express yourself too much you will you will struggle with um expressing yourself when you get older but a lot of the chosen ones i'm here to tell you guys right now for all the things that you guys have went through, you are going to get blessings. You are going to be reassured that you were the chosen one. God has a plan for you. The first card that I pulled is eternal love, you guys. I will put the card out here soon. Um, I want to let you know that your love is going to be so great. They're not going to be able to take it from you. They're not going to be able to tell your boyfriend about some childhood or family business that shouldn't even matter. Because if you're going to be with a man, that man's going to take you from your family. You guys can go visit, but you're now his family. He takes his woman and marries her and makes her the woman of his household. You no longer listen to your mother and, and your grandmother. Once you become a woman, that little girl mentality of, oh, I have to talk to mommy first. And I got to figure out what she wants to do when it's all about the family dynamic. That goes out the window. And that's why a lot of women end up single and lonely because they're still trying to keep um, foot and hand in their family dynamic or they're trying to hang out with friends that your boyfriend and his family wouldn't recommend you to be with. Don't get left divorced or left out in the cold trying to please a toxic family dynamic because what you deal with does not mean your man's going to deal with it. So if your family is a handful and only you know how to deal with your people. Well, only you should deal with them. Don't take them. Don't take no uh, loved one or person around some toxic people. I don't care if it is your family. So the first card I got is eternal love. So for the chosen ones, I do believe there's an eternal love. If you don't already have it, it's one coming. And like I said, they won't be able to take this from you. There's no way they can take it for you. It's eternal too. So this love will be forever. This will not be 
another love. Because see, a lot of chosen ones when they were younger, the love of their life got stolen from them because they were in a relationship, they were in love, and then they had different people speaking up against their love to the other party. I'll give you a quick example. So when I was younger, my first uh, son's father, I was in love with him. He was in love with me. We were in love with each other. The problem is that we were children. We were kids. And he still had a lot of experience and experimenting to do. And just because you guys love each other does not mean that that is who you are to be with. Um, he was put in my life for a, a small period of time. It seemed like a long time. And you know, I loved a lot of things about him. He loved a lot of things about me, but he cheated a lot. And I never cheated. And when I did cheat at the end, I did it more of like a revenge thing, which two wrongs don't make it right. So I'm speaking from experience when I speak about these things. Um, and I remember him telling me at some point, one of the days I'm crying or we fighting or we're discussing getting back together and trying to understand where did the cheating come from why are you doing this or the lying and if that's the case then leave me alone and we're having one of those ordeals right and i remember him telling me blatantly that somebody some woman older than us our relationship told him based off of my looks that he can do better and you know that has sat with me for a long time until i got older to understand it more at first you know when you're young and you deal with somebody that's popular and all the ladies want him and you know you 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 put yourself on the back burner and you say you say you stick your neck out and you say all right i want to be here for him i want him so much that i will go through you know whatever to be with him to prove to him that i love him and maybe he's right and you know because you went through a lot in your family dynamic you know i speak about that a lot um you know at a young age not that i'm going through any of these problems but as an adult i'm fully healed this channel is to help other people early than late um whether it's a man that's going to make a decision based off of someone else telling him please don't don't base a decision off of what somebody tell you when you are young and you are growing up the last thing you want to do is listen to anybody it was so many lies told um about me and my loved ones when we were younger and we were so popular as far as like my boyfriend and his friends my cousin and you know i feel like we were more popular because you guys 